Hello everyone, my name is Amir Durafsha and I've been asked to review the paper titled Intraoptive Indocine in Green Angiography Facilitates Flap Fenestration and Facial Organ Fabrication in Total Facial Restoration by Dr. Zan and his colleagues. There are two accepted methods for total facial re reconstruction. Number one, facial transplantation, where you take the facial organ from one person and transplant it to another person. This is a wonderful option when it is available. However, it is often limited by requirements of lifelong immunosuppression and donor availability. The second option is autologous tissue transplantation, which involves taking a large, single block of tissue from somewhere on the body and transferring it to cover the face in the same patient. This technique has the drawbacks of not being able to reconstruct the three-dimensionality of the face and having to cover the eyes, mouth and nose for at least 10 to 14 days until the blood supply is robust enough to tolerate the shaping and reopening of these areas. More recently, Indocine in Green, or ICG dye angiography, has been developed to examine blood flow through tissues in real time, meaning we have a lot more information on the blood vessel architecture to make clinical decisions at the time of initial surgery. In this study, the authors performed total facial restoration on 10 burn patients using autologous tissue transplantation and they were able to use ICG angiography to look at the blood flow of the transferred tissue flap at the time of surgery. Using this information, they were able to surgically open eyelids, nostrils, and the mouth without having to wait for the flap to mature from a blood flow perspective, and they were able to shape the flap to the three-dimensionality of the face without any delay. The use of ICG technology is a major step forward in the reconstruction of patients that require total facial restoration using their own tissues, and the authors should be congratulated for their innovative solution to this challenging problem.